Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the first tutorial in the series of tutorials on C++ and in this video I'm going to talk a little about C++ the programming language and then uh, I'll show you how you can download and install a software called Codeblocks which is an integrated development environment for C and C++ uh, something that we're going to use through this course to write C++ code uh, to compile it, execute it and uh, of course see the output. So I'm very excited about this course because C++ is actually the first programming language that I learned to use even before I started using C and uh, it's a language that has evolved a lot. Uh, it was developed in the late 70s by Bjorn Strostrup who used to work at the Bell Labs at that time and uh, it was a very different language then. It, it borrows a lot of syntax, a uh, lot of functionality from C, a lot of keywords. Uh, in fact, it was initially called C with classes, but later on they changed the name to C++, maybe because they wanted C++ to have its own unique identity and you know not just be known as another version for C. So in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss each and every concept in C++ that's worth being mentioned. And uh, some of you might be knowing that I also have a playlist of tutorials on C. Uh, you can find the link to that playlist in the video description section below. Uh, even if you haven't watched any of the videos in, in that series or have never programmed in C or any other programming language for that matter uh, before, it's 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 not going to make uh, much difference. Uh, you can still learn C++. You can still follow along this course. So C++ is a middle level language, which means that it borrows you know some functionality from low level languages and some functionality from high level languages. It's very versatile. It has very diverse applications. You know people use C++ to uh, you know make the user interface for applications uh, you know especially uh, for uh, you know OS development and uh, a lot of people use C++ to write drivers uh, you know for hardware devices because it works really well interacting with hardware um, and also you know for programming devices like ovens and remote controllers so it's it's very versatile and it's also fun to learn and I'm going to try to make this course as interesting and uh, entertaining for you guys as I can. So the first thing that we need to do is to download and install this software called Codeblocks. So I want you guys to open your web browser and uh, just make a Google search for Codeblocks, right? And then from the search results just follow the first link that you see and you will be redirected to this website uh, which is www.codeblocks.org and on this website from the main menu just go to the download section and then uh, you know if you see this page just click on download the binary release right because we don't want to build the application from the source code we just want the executable file something that we can you know just double click and, and install the software now based on the operating system on which you are going to install code blocks uh, you'll have to you know maybe scroll down a little and find the file that suits you so I'm using Windows so that's why I would have to pick one of these files and uh, I would suggest you download the file with the mingw setup because mingw is is not present by default these days in in windows systems and it's something that you need to sort of uh, be able to use the gnu uh, gcc the c++ compiler basically so uh, pick the platform that you like sourceforge or fossub uh, you know, I downloaded the file from SourceForge. I already have the software installed, so I'm not going to download the setup file again. But it's an 80 MB size file. It was uh, last updated on 28 January 2016, which was actually like a year ago. But that's okay because not much has changed in the C++ standard library in the last one year, you know, uh, since the major upgrade a uh, couple of years ago. So uh, just Download the file and then uh, go to the folder where it has been saved. Just double click on the icon and follow the on-screen instructions. You might have to click on next a few times 
and stick to the defaults wherever it asks for permissions just give it the permissions it's not going to mess up with your OS it's a safe application to install and uh, once you are done with the installation you should see something like this um, you know this is the start page for code blocks you have the menu here file edit view search project and settings and help and on the start page you see some options uh, create a new project open an existing project tip of the day so on so forth um, once you see this what I want you to do is just go to file and go to new and then click on empty file right if you want to do this through the keyboard you could press control shift and N on Windows and uh, when you open a new file uh, just press control S you want to save this file before writing any code in it uh, I'll give it the name hello underscore world dot CPP so if you don't put the extension CPP Codeblocks is going to assume that this file is going to be a C file and not a C++ file right so the uh, dot and the CPP extension is kind of important here and I'm saving this file within my documents folder there's a folder called C++ files which I have created specifically for this course so that's where I'll be saving this file and I'll click on save and you know even though I haven't talked about the syntax for C++ and you know maybe whatever I'll be typing on the screen now if you haven't uh, used C++ in the past this is all going to be alien stuff for you but uh, trust me we're going to go through this code in lot more detail later on uh, for the time being I just want you to copy the code that I'm going to type on the screen uh, you know what you're going to see on the screen this is important because we want to make sure that code blocks is working fine and that there was no problem with the installation that you know we can learn other C++ concepts without worrying about program execution so just put in a pound symbol first and then the keyword include right and then you could maybe give a space and then within these angular brackets just type IO stream right that's IO S T R E A M and on the next line just type in the word using and then namespace right there's no space between name and space std and a semicolon and then on the next line type the keyword int give a space and then type in the keyword main and then put in a set of empty parentheses right so you don't have anything between the parentheses they just like the opening parentheses is followed by the closing parentheses on the next line just put in an opening curly brace and code blocks is automatically going to put the corresponding closing curly brace for you and then type in the keyword C out right and then put two of these less than symbols right and then within double quotes you could type anything you want I'm just gonna type hello world right and maybe I'll put a, an exclamation symbol at the end and put a semicolon at the end of this so the semicolon has to be after the second double quotation mark on the next line type the keyword return give a space and then type the the, the digit 0 and put another semicolon and then you could press control s to save the file you could also go to file and then you know click on save all files right or maybe all shift s for save everything uh, once you're done just go to build you'll find build uh, in the menu at the top and then click on build and run on windows alternatively you could press the key f9 and if everything is fine if there is no problem with your installation you should see another window open up and that will show you the text hello world you know because that's what I've typed after C out in my program so this ensures that code blocks has been installed successfully properly on my system I hope you guys see the right output as well uh, if you don't see the right output what you could do 
is go to settings on the main menu and then click on compiler and just make sure that the selected compiler here is GNU GCC compiler. I mean there has to be something here. If it is blank then it means that code blocks wasn't able to identify a C++ compiler on your system and uh, you know then in that case maybe uh, you would have to download and install a C++ compiler uh, externally and then provide the path to that compiler to code blocks. If you have any questions about this process, if you face any problems with code blocks ins uh, installation, you could uh, check out code blocks documentation. It's quite comprehensive. Otherwise, if your doubts are still not solved, then you could just post comments on this video and I'll try to reply as soon as I can and uh, you know answer all your queries so i hope you guys had uh, fun watching this video uh, over the next several videos we're going to check out some very interesting exciting features in c++ uh, we're going to have fun learning the language and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care